Hello and welcome back to Timberborn. It has been a few weeks since we last played. I have been doing some traveling, but I am back and really excited to be playing this game. Some of you lovely humans in the comments left some fantastic suggestions that I would like to try out. One of them being that we should ditch this because it's incredibly inefficient and instead we should dynamite a hole, but that does require dynamite, which we do not currently have. So if I were dynamite, where would I be? I would be here. This is where I would be. Okay, so explosives factory. I think we can actually, we can do that. We don't have enough science points to unlock the actual dynamite, but yeah, we can, we can set this up. I think we could set it up. I'm kind of thinking that we demolish these because they're like sad little dried out berries so I'm thinking we'll just demolish all of these little guys and then once that's demolished we will look at putting the explosives um, dynamite maker thing down over there and then the other cool suggestion that I was totally unaware of is that these houses actually don't need all this like chaoticness that I created you can actually just like build them like that without stairs like you can build them in the water so I'm thinking we'll do maybe a triple one just to get kind of like the most bang for our buck and that is so cool I mean it's kind of like a weird little setup we have going on but it is still pretty cool so that will give us some more beaver space so our beavers over here are kind of lacking in like food and water and stuff but I'm not really sure like they do have I think more capacity to plant stuff so I'm not sure what else I can really do on that end um I also just realized we don't have anyone cutting trees so we should probably fix that but we are kind of at capacity on logs too so let's see maybe if this side needs more logs which they kind of do. Maybe we just send all of our logs over to them. Like all of our logs and all of our metal. And then I think we'll reduce the number of workers in here to just one. Because it's not really like that urgent. So yeah, that should be good. And let's see if they... Oh, they did! They're almost done clearing out this space. I'm going to like fast forward until they can clear it out. And then I guess we actually don't need these anymore. Which is kind of nice. So if there was a way to hook up the explosives to this, that would be awesome. Because our network supply is like way greater than our demand. I've also decided that we are going to plant more wheat because the wheat takes a really long time to grow and I feel like the guys in this like farmhouse here probably have capacity to do a little bit more than what they're currently doing. Like they could even plant up here. So maybe we just go with that and just like max out their capacity. Oh, they could plant over here. Interesting. Or here. Yeah, let's just do wheat like everywhere. There we go. So that will kind of help with food production. Like we're not doing too bad, but we definitely could be doing better. And I don't know why no one's reaching these. Oh, it's too far. Oh, okay. What if we build a path? Okay, now someone's going to go demolish those. So let's see. So <laughs> I had kind of left like this. Oh, we're going to delete this. Perfect. Um, yeah, it's so, like I had left this open-ended in case we needed to expand it. And then I just like built something right on top of it. So I think we can leave this one for now. 
but I'm thinking actually you know what we kind of need to delete that one too unfortunately um so I'm thinking we'll just kind of come through here and then go up and over to here because yeah our supply is like crazy and the demand is not that high so we should try and connect all this up we could actually probably delete this too yeah i think we could delete that that reduced our supply a tiny bit but i don't think it really matters i don't know i'm just gonna leave it paused for now and i feel like that can be like our like backup generator if for some reason it's not windy enough or something i don't know okay so back to this I guess we could have left those. Oh, we could have just left those and connected to here because this is connected, isn't it? Uh, no, this does not require power. Just this, right? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, yeah. Huh. Okay, so no, we did need to delete that. Okay, I feel better about life choices so we're gonna put this here this here and then we're gonna do like a straight piece in there so I'm gonna pause this one and then we're gonna do a straight piece here and then we can we we gonna need <laughs> we're going to need one of these guys and then we're gonna need one of these guys and I'm sure all of you in the comments are like what are you doing there's a way more efficient way to do this you know what my brain's not working today, so this is what you get. All right, so that will get built some way, somehow, eventually. And then over here, we can put our explosives factory and just make sure, yep, that's all connected. Ooh, fancy. Love that. Um, and we are also going to need treated planks at some point. So I think we should kind of like, I don't think we need this. What do books do? Will that do something useful? Let's see, we'll click on this guy. What do books do? Books give you knowledge. Do we care about knowledge? Nah. And look at this, our little house is built. It's so cute. What a great idea to just build this like straight up underwater. So smart. And we already have so many people living in it. That is just spectacular. All right, I'm gonna check on this side. Make sure that, oh, oh, oh. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. I think they're gonna be okay. I think they're they're gonna be fine. Um, Yeah, I'm not too worried about them. Can I just say that this little thing is popping off? Like, look how many beavers are in here. It's just like maxed out. People are like, get me into the water. I love it. So cute. So I don't know why no storage space available. Build more storage. Are we out of log storage? There's no way. There's just no way. Holy smoke roonies. We're actually... We're out of log storage. Oh. Well. I kind of want to build the underground pile, but the large pile only takes six logs. It's like, ugh, ugh. All right, we're just doing the large pile. We're not gonna do anything crazy up in here. Uh. I think we'll just put it here, kind of like a weirdly inconvenient spot, but we'll high prioritize that. And then that will get built here soon, very soon. And then they should be able to pick up these logs. Oh, they did, they did. Okay, so we can unpause that. And then they can't get gears. You guys, I didn't even realize, but our gravity thing is built. And it's actually full of power. This is so cool. I love that. That is so neat. So, very cool. 
Um, we'll kind of do anything if we want to build more. We are pretty neat. But I guess we don't really need them. So, okay, so we also need more gears. So since we have, like, extra capacity in our network, I think... Like, metal blocks were kind of low, but not crazy low. Uh, but yeah, gears, we are, like, very low. So I think we should do another gear workshop over here. And then hopefully we'll have room for our treated plank workshop. We might need to, like, build up back here. So I have just realized that our storage for carrots is full. And... I don't know. I guess our grilled potatoes are going. They're doing fine. Why is no one picking these potatoes, though? Like, why are you so slow, mate? Um, but yeah, our carrot storage is full. So, I am thinking that maybe we should demolish... Or maybe we should just clear planting area for, like, this little bit. And then we can put in another storage facility up here for the carrots. And then we can also do another rooftop terrace across from it, like so. And we'll add our platform here. And then we'll just platform over this way. And then we'll create this for the carrots. So that way we can actually store some more food. And now these guys over here, like, they're sat on their butts, not doing anything, leaving blueberry boxes around. And we actually do have blueberry storage, I think. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, I spoke too soon. So we don't have blueberry storage. And some of these have, like, dried out and died. And I don't really want to put a forester hut all the way over here. So maybe we will just demolish this like one little thing right here. And then we'll add a little blueberry storage for them. The other items that are full are our cattail crackers and our spatter dock. And our paper. But not the bread. Maybe we convert the bread... Is there like a spatter dock? What are we making with spatter dock? Are we like not making something? Aren't we supposed to make like grilled spatter dock? So I think the issue is that we don't have anyone making grilled spatter dock. At least not that I could find. Cause this is all like the cattail stuff. This is the bread. And then, so I'm going to build this for the grilled spatter dock. And then hopefully that should, like, deplete this storage here. And then they can actually, like, harvest more spatter dock. So, yeah, that's the theory. And I definitely think that was the issue because this guy is, like, going ham on the spatter dock. And we're now depleting our spatter dock stash. So this is good. This is good. We're increasing our food very promising so i'm gonna be honest i actually completely forgot <laughs> that we built this district <laughs> i'm pretty sure i just killed them all like where did they go built solely to build the dam oh gosh and the dam isn't built <laughs> hold on a second here Hold on, what did I do? I gave them water. Um, but I did neglect, oh, these are just not, oh, these haven't matured yet. Okay, so maybe I didn't kill anyone. I don't know, that's so difficult. All right, we're just gonna let that be. I think, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm feeling a little better. I think maybe we were waiting on these to be like fully grown before we put someone here. That way they would have food and water. And then we just need like three beavers, like one, well actually four. We need one for the log picking, one for the berry picking, one for the water making, and then one to actually build the dam. I think that's what we are doing. 
I'm feeling just a smidgen better about my life. So I've realized that I actually did not need to like cancel all the carrots. I really just needed to cancel like one carrot. And then we can like build the path here instead of here. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm also going to like prematurely path down here just because I feel like, you know what? Might as well. We're probably going to want to keep going down this way. And then I might as well just throw them in another little rooftop terrace. That's so cute. So cute. And then they just need to pick this one carrot. Or do I demolish it? You know what? Let's just demolish it. I don't know what we're waiting for. Demolish. Done. Bye. And then we're going to platform in here. Path. Oh. Ah! Ah! Stop it. Stop it. Path in there. And then we are good. And now we can pick more carrots. And now life is good. And then I did also throw in another warehouse here. I'm not going to assign it to carrots yet. We'll see how it goes. Maybe we'll put blueberries. I don't know what we're doing. Um, these berry bushes are almost done. I think. Oh. They take 12 days to grow three berries. Oh my gosh. This is terrible. Oh. Alright, you guys. We're coming up with a new situation. We're going to create a little platform thingy majigger and we're gonna put a uh where did it go where is it here it is we're gonna put a distribution post i can't remember how big these are and then we go like this and then we put this there then we're gonna delete like these ones that we don't need and then we're going to path over to this guy. Beautiful. So we're just going to give these guys food because the berry situation is not the vibe. And I'm hoping that these guys can build. Ooh. If we path over this way, I'm hoping that they can help build the drop off point yes okay so then we're gonna do a little drop off point uh probably like here with stairs actually you know what drop off point first to make sure it fits great we don't need all these and then we're gonna do little stairs down here and we're gonna connect it in this way and then this guy, well, I guess we have to wait for it to get built. But we're going to send them food. That is the game plan. So I'm going to, like, do this and then give them a little gate. Just to kind of, like, make things pretty. But this doesn't look very pretty. So I'm going to do that. Like that. Cute. So cute. So, and then that way we can send them, I don't know why I didn't just do this from the beginning, because then we can actually send them, like, logs to build these. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, that just makes way more sense. You guys, I'm so stupid. I didn't put in the, <laughs> what did I do? I just, like, put it in this way and didn't connect it into anything, like a dum-dum. Uh, now we have to delete this one. And we have a drought in three days. Three days, people. Oh my gosh. So stupid. But our explosives thing is built. Our gear workshop is built. And if I can figure out the power situation, we will be Gucci. But we need to get this one built. And then hopefully... There you go. This one's working. This one's working. Oh, and now we're using our paper, which is wonderful because we are full on paper. So this is very good news. So we do need to unlock the dynamite still, which we now have enough science points to do. So we're gonna do that. And I think things are good. Our windmills are not moving at all. So I turned this back on. And I kind of thought like, so this 
gives it back when the network is underpowered, right? But it's like not giving it back. Like, do I have to actually connect this into the network? Nightmare. But like, how is it storing the energy if it's not connected into the network? But it's like clearly not giving the energy back. So I kind of think we actually have to connect it in. Which sounds like a disaster. Uh, okay, so we're going to try this out for the sake of science. And I did connect power into here, kind of, I think. I don't know. We're going to have to replace this with the T-shaft. I just, yeah, I just don't really want to do that right now. Because we are getting power. So I'm going to wait till they build all of this and then we'll replace that with the T-shaft. Is this a complete waste of time and resources? Probably, but it's for science. So we're going to try it out. Also, in better news, this got built and we have way too many people in it. So we're going to drop that a little bit. Um, actually, you know what? We have so many unemployed beavers. We're going to leave it and we're going to start sending them I think we're just gonna do berries because we have so many berries left to pick. So we're gonna send berries and then we're gonna limit it. Yeah, that's good. And then we're gonna limit this. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and then we're gonna also send logs. Um, and we're gonna make sure the logs are not that many. That is like a lot of logs. We're going to send like 25 at a time and they can receive like 50. I think that's fine. And then once like there's some stuff in here, I will move over a couple of beavers and get going on the other stuff. And look at this! Our tapper shack finally got built. I didn't even notice. And we're collecting maple syrup. It says pine resin. Is that the maple syrup? Oh no! We're just collecting maple syrup and pine resin. That is super cool. So that's going to be useful when we can unlock the treated planks. And pop those over here in this little space I reserved for them. Okay, help me understand. Help me understand, please. The beavers can build these, but they can't build this. Like, how? How? How does that make any sense that they're able to build all of these? They can build this one, but they can't build this one. Like, in what world does that make any sense? Um, okay, so what we're gonna have to do is very obnoxious. We're gonna have to put, like, this with this with this, and hopefully... I don't even know if they're gonna be able to reach that. It's so annoying. And then we're gonna have to do this. And probably, I don't know, maybe they can reach that. Maybe they can do, I'd love to like not have to do stairs, but maybe they can like reach if we do that. So over here, they have berries, they have logs. So I think we're going to hit pause. I think we're going to migrate probably four beavers. Uh, if I can remember how to do that. Why is this so confusing? Um, migrate, okay. Migrate from home base to there. We're gonna send them one, two, three, four. Okay, and if we come over here, we have two in there. We should have one in there. Uh, we don't need one in there right now, so this is actually perfect. Yeah, this is perfect. So they should be able to start building the dam, which is really exciting. Let's fast forward and find out. You guys, our first mm, beaver, Teja, is coming in to build the first... Pe oh, he's going over here. He's going over here. He's not going to start on the 
closer side is going to start on the farther side. Okay. So we only need 18 more logs times however many pieces are here. Yay. <laughs> oh, and we have Venjo working away. I love it. It's wonderful. Cool. Well, that is exciting. Um, they don't have water yet because Napoke... Oh, no, no, no. Napoke has gotten some water. That is fantastic. He's, like, bringing the water over to the storage. Okay, cool. This district is going very well. And we are in a six-day drought. That is not too bad, honestly. We can live with that. We can live with that. I am trying to get this last little piece in here. They finally built all this. Um, since we bothered to build this anyways, I'm kind of thinking we maybe just like add another storage situation up here. So if we like delete that, maybe we can just put in another medium warehouse and make all of this worthwhile. And um, I'm not sure what we need to fill it with. Like if we look at cattail flower I can't really tell what these things mean <laughs> like I think it means full but I don't really know oh the explosives are full like what's more important food or explosives oh the cattail crackers are also full those are just like popping off so maybe we do cattail crackers so i've connected this in oh i haven't connected this in Arrgh! we're gonna high prioritize this little guy speed up time a little bit a lot of it and then we pause and then we put in the straight shaft again We speed up time again. We high, priori high prioritize this. I can't talk. Okay. It's going in. And now we can see if this is going to fluctuate. So 6,000. And then, like, I guess. I mean, what's the power output? Oh, it's, like, more than the demand. Okay. We're going to keep an eye on it. Maybe we, like, speed up time. And we'll see when this drops below the demand if that ever happens no it doesn't happen so minor issue this water pump doesn't reach any water but i mean they have 30 water and there's only four of them i think they'll be fine for a few days um okay so back over here oh <gasps> it's working now oh that is cool because like this well, now it's, like, gaining because there's excess. Right? Okay, now okay, now the demand is higher than the supply. So this should be dropping, but it's going up. Oh, but the supply... I don't know. There's a lot of math for me. But what I do know is that this is now working, which is great. That is great news. And I kind of want to build another one. I know they're, like, not that useful but like we already have one here so we might as well build another one and I mean we're making more gears now that we have this so like why not we have 44 gears in stock let's do it we're gonna do another gravity thing here love it you guys we already have three pieces of the dam built it's so exciting I'm obsessed um I don't think this guy has anything to do so I'm actually gonna pause him and put him in here hello where'd you go oh and pause this guy and put you in here there we go so now we have four people four beavers not people oh oh we have water here oh we should build like a temporary water pump for the oh but once we have the dam up there should always be water in here so you know what we're not going to do that we're going to be smart we're not going to do that they still have enough water i think i think they'll be okay we can always send them water if they end up with not enough 
But I think things are looking pretty good. So now I'm gonna take a look at this situation. I don't wanna do this right now because we're in the middle of the drought, but I do want to dynamite the little hole and then do the little water pumpy dumpy thing. And I'm kind of thinking actually, maybe we do the hole like back here and then we do the water pump here just to like preserve space. The well, only thing is, I don't know how much area it will like cover, but I think we can like play around with it. So I'm gonna clear these four and then we're gonna dynamite these four. They have kind of a long way to go actually in growing. So I'm a little impatient for that. I'm just gonna dynamite these. And then we're gonna put the water dumpy guy. We haven't even unlocked it. There we go. We're gonna put him up here. What? <gasps> oh. He doesn't like that. Okay, so we're gonna have to actually put him like here, which is a tad bit annoying. Um, okay, explosives, dynamite, boom! Exciting. And then we are going to have to clear this. Ooh, is it this side? It doesn't matter what side. We're clearing this. We're gonna demolish these. And then we should be good. And then yeah, we'll fill like water here and maybe we'll even get some greenery up here. That would be kind of pleasant. What are you doing, mate? Nothing? No chestnuts? Man, these things take a while. Okay, so this is done. So we can put in our water dumpy thing here, but we actually probably need to wait until we explode that thing. Holy smokeroonies! Our second gravity thing is already built. It's like, oh, they're like at different levels depending on how much energy they have stored. That is really cool. It's like, look at this. Like, they move. Do you see them moving? Whoa! That is so cool. Anyways, um, that is fun and all, but back to over here, we're gonna check on these guys because they don't have a ton of water, but they have 20 left. I think they're gonna make it, they're gonna be fine. And we're actually like halfway done with building this, which is exciting. And then hopefully they'll start over on that side. But our dynamite is ready to detonate. Boosh! Exciting. And now we're gonna put the water dump in here. And then as soon as that's built, maybe we like high prioritize that. And we also do this workplace priority. Okay, so as soon as that's built, then we can demolish this one. I'm thinking we'll actually just pause it. Wait, what? Wait, so someone has to be in here to like dump the water? That's so annoying. Uh, interesting, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna empty the storage because I don't wanna waste the water. And then now that it's emptied, I'm gonna delete it and then we're gonna path to here. Why did it delete the trees? What the heck? Okay, we're pathing in there. We have someone in here. He's gonna run in. Prioritize building by haulers. We gotta get him some water. The oh my gosh! Whoever suggested we do this, you are brilliant. You are absolutely brilliant. Like, what in the heck? 
things are just like going wow that is wild like we just got so much more space for activities and yeah i'm gonna do some chestnut trees up here that way like these guys actually have something to do and i'm gonna make sure that this area is not marked for cutting because I want the chestnuts to grow and these guys to harvest them, yada, yada, yada. Um, somehow this guy is gathering berries, which makes no sense to me whatsoever. Very confusing. I guess it's because he can reach these. Anyways, okay. So that is really cool because that actually just like saved a lot of our trees. And I'm debating if we want to do the same thing like over here. Like maybe we do it down here and maybe it will save some of our potatoes. I don't know. I mean, this gives you an area of like this. So if we do it here, it should cover the potatoes. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're going to do it. Uh, what do we need? We need to stop planting here and here we then need to demolish here and here and the drought is over Woo! just in time for me to get the water pump situation sorted it's fine it's fine everything's fine maybe we should do that over here too like, maybe we put a water pump thing here. No, that's not right. That's not right. That's not right. Oh, God. Oh, but. Do we dynamite there? If we dynamite here. And then this guy has nowhere to go. So that was stupid. So we need to, like. We actually need to dynamite. Uh, we're gonna put him like this way so we actually need to dynamite this go pick stuff up thank you okay back over here we're gonna boosh exciting and then we're gonna put in this guy whoops like so and I want to high prioritize it just so I can see like how well it works. I also want to make sure like this guy cannot flood the area. I don't think he can. Uh, problem. So these guys are out of water. So I'm going to unpause that. So it's a new day. They're all really thirsty. I feel bad, but hopefully Napoke can get some water going like ASAP. I think we should be good. And in more exciting news, this is actually built. Look at it. I'm so excited to see how this works. And they are starting on this side. I mean, they're like getting somewhere. Um, I mean, we won't really know how it works until the drought. But I think, I think that this is blocked off. This is blocked off. This is blocked off. This is, this is not blocked off. What is up with this? Oh my gosh, it's too far. They can't reach it. Um. Oh man, I wonder if this group over here if I do this if it can be reached by them <gasps> it can it can okay so that's almost blocked off so basically this whole area is going to dry out which is kind of annoying so maybe we do want to like look at kind of damming off this area somehow I think we should. I think we should. So these are done. So we're going to detonate that. 
And then we're gonna put in a water jump here. I mean, all of this is like kind of unnecessary now that we have this getting like dammed up. But I feel like it's still worth doing just in case as like a little backup option. I am starting to build this here. Why is it too far? Oh, cause like this isn't done. Um, I am starting to build this and then I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe we go here, maybe we go here and here. I don't know. Maybe we go all the way over here and here. I don't know. There's so many like options, but for now, I think we'll just do this because like the goal is to keep water in here. Um, so the other thing we could look at doing is putting like a dam there. And I don't think anyone can build this is the only issue unless we can get like this group over there somehow, which I do believe we can if we clear this area and then we do some like stair situation up here. And then we like path over this way and path along here. So we also have enough science now to unlock the wood workshop, which I'm planning on putting here. I think we just need to do another levy there and we might actually need to oh no we can we can use this okay um i think we're good we just need to put that there yep and then we can put this in here so i did just realize that we have to put another forester hut up here which is like a tad bit annoying but i think it'll be worth it because i'm just gonna like stack this whole area with tree picking stuff. And then I'm gonna put some like lumberjack flags, I think right in here. You guys, we only have one more dam piece left for our dam. I'm so excited. And then this whole area will be blocked off and we should be able to retain water throughout the dry season. Um, and then they'll just come over here and do this piece too. So it looks like these guys can actually reach over here. I am trying to demolish this one little plant thing, but, um, yeah, it looks like they can actually reach. And I'm sure once we demolish this, if they ever want to get around to doing that, then they should be able to reach the whole thing and get the dam built here. And then we'll pretty much always be able to grow spatter dock and cattail up here. I think with that in mind, we probably can just clear this whole area because it's like kind of pointless. I don't see why we would ever need this. Um, so I'm just gonna clear that. I kind of wanna demolish it all. I know it's kind of a waste. It's just like so ugly, so. I'm just gonna do this, do this. Oh, it's so many plants. But yeah, it's just like not worth it. So we're gonna demolish all that. Lovely. And then this will be like our full on aquatic farming area. So we might as well add in some more stuff and kind of like fill it out. So cattail going in here. Maxing out the cattail. And then spatter dock will go here. And there, and there. Perfect. You guys, it's done, it's done. Oh my gosh, we did it. So once they do this one piece over here, then we can actually close up shop on this like temporary district that we made and hit pause on all of this. So I think at that point, uh, they're almost done. We need six more logs. And then I think at that point we should be ready 
Let's take a look. But we should be ready to do the golem -y stuff. So, and then we also need to like get all the dirt excavator stuff ready so we can finally start on our moat, which was the whole point of this series anyways. But um, dirt excavator, we need bots. Terraforming, we need bots. Okay, so bots. We need metal box gears and planks, and that's it. So that's actually not too bad. So um, how are we doing on those items? We have 76 metal blocks. We have 124 gears. That's good. And then we have 160 planks. So I think we're actually... Oh, this is almost done. Let's fast forward a bit. And it's done. Cool. So now we are actually just going to pause like everything over here. And we're going to send back all of these beavers to there. Cool. So that should be good. And then I think it's time. I think it's time. Wait, how did... Oh, this still isn't built yet. Okay. Anyways, I think it's time that we start on our moat area. Which, I do like this area. However, it has this, which is like super annoying. But otherwise, it would be like kind of perfect. So maybe we do this one... Or this one's kind of cool. We basically just have to go from here over here. I mean, we could like combine some of these. Ooh, this one's kind of perfect. So it's been decided we're going to demolish this and then we're going to get like a lumberjack guy in here to cut down all of this. We're going to go across this way, and I think we're going to set up, like, the bot stuff here, and we'll do a distribution post with a drop-off point for the different resources we need to at least get the bot factories up and running. I think, yeah. Oh, they need carrots, potatoes, spatter dock, maple, sun oh my gosh. These bots are, like pricey man uh yeah okay so we're gonna need to set up a lot of resources over there but we're gonna start by just clearing out this space and then maybe we can use this space to grow the potatoes carrots what else do we need potatoes carrots spatter dock water and maple syrup and dandelion oh my gosh so we're gonna need a forester hut a farmer thing and a water thing probably some storage maybe and we'll do all of that on this little island and then we'll set up the actual refinery over here and then because i want to use like this to start getting our own scrap metal over on this side and then we'll basically turn i think this island into a moat or maybe these islands i don't know yet but we're moving in that direction we finally have like got all the resources we need to do it and you'll have to wait until the next episode to see what happens but thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to like comment subscribe let me know what you think and i'll see you in the next one